today's lecture we will discuss the rules of inference for quantified propositions. Now, let us discuss uh, briefly whatever we have done in the previous lectures as a recall. So, we have uh, we know what a proposition is and we will be denoting propositions by small letters p, q, r and so on. So, these are propositions which are essentially statements uh, having a truth value. Now, we also know what are predicates or open propositions. Predicates will be denoted by P x, Q x, R x and so on. where x varies over the universe of discourse or simply universe. We have seen some rules of inferences. So, rules of inference involving propositions. We list some rules and refer to them as fundamental rules. So, fundamental rule 1 we have seen this under the name of modus ponens. which states that P and P implying Q therefore, Q. The tautological form of this rule is P and P implies Q implies Q and we have already checked that this rule is a uh, indeed a tautology and therefore, is a valid inference. The next rule uh, is fundamental rule 2, which is what we have studied in the name of hypothetical syllogism. This rule states that P 
p implies q, q implies r, therefore, p implies r or in the <coughs> tautological form p implies q and q implies r p implies r as before we can check that this is indeed a valid inference. Now, the fundamental rule 3 this is known as De Morgan's laws De Morgan's laws state that not of P and Q is equivalent to not of P and not of Q and not of P or Q is equivalent to not of P and not of Q. Finally, the last law that we state here involving the propositions is fundamental law 4. Fundamental rule 4, which is the law of contrapositive. The law of contrapositive states that P implies Q is equivalent to not Q implies not P. Therefore, in order to prove P implies Q, we may as well prove not Q implies not P. What is seen at this point is that if we move on to the first order logic from the propositional logic, then uh, we will have predicates and quantifiers in particular existence, ex existential and universal quantifiers. In this framework of the first order logic, the rules of inference that we have derived for, pro for propositional logic are not sufficient. Therefore, we need additional rules. In what follows, I will state four additional rules uh, which are used in propositional logic along with the rules of the four additional rules which are used in predicate logic or the first order logic along with 
the rules that we have derived from the propositional logic. So, we move on to additional rules of inference required to prove assertions in involving predicates and quantifiers. Fundamental rule 5. This rule is called universal specification. Universal specification states that if a statement for all x p x is assumed to be true then the universal quantifier can be dropped to obtain P C is true for an arbitrary object C in the universe. Apparently, this rule is simple. It just says that if we have a statement for all x p x, where p x is a predicate, and if we assume that it is true, then we will be able to, uh, 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 given any arbitrary object c in the universe, the proposition P C that we get by replacing x by C in the predicate P x is going to be true. In symbols, we can represent this rule as for all x P x. Therefore, P C 
for all C. Next, we move to the fundamental rule 6. This is called universal generalization. Universal generalization states that if a statement P C is true for each element C in the universe, then the universal quantifier can be prefixed and we obtain the proposition for all x p x. Again, in symbols we have P C for all C therefore for all X p x. We move on to two more rules involving predicates and quantifiers. Fundamental rule 7. This is called existential specification. Existential specification states that if there exists x p x is assumed to be true, then there is an element in the universe such that P C is 
two. By in using symbols like before, we can represent this rule as there exists x p x. Therefore, E C for some C. Lastly, we look at fundamental rule eight. This rule is called existential generalization. If P C is true, for some element C in the universe, then there exists x p x and again in symbols we can write P C for some C, therefore, there exists X P X. These are the rules that we will be using to prove propositions involving uh, predicates and quantifiers. Let us look at some examples. One represent the following arguments symbolically. and decide whether they are valid. The arguments are all men are fallible. all men are fallible all kings are men therefore All kings are 
are fallible. Now, this is one argument and another argument that we will discuss is lions are dangerous animals there are lions therefore there are dangerous animals this is another argument now let us look at the first argument let mx is a predicate x is a man and k x is the predicate x is a king and f x is a predicate x is fallible. Now, we symbolize the argument, the first argument in this way, for all x m x implies f x. for all x k x implies m x therefore for all x k x implies f x now we see the formal proof of this argument step wise. So, we write at each step an assertion and the reason. So, 1 for all x, m x f x. So, this is premise 1. that is this one 2 m c implies f c now this is what we get by fundamental rule 5 and step 1 step 1 rule Five, three. 
for all x k x implies m x. Now, this is premise 2 for k c implies m c, this is step 3 and rule 5. Five. Now, here we see that we can use disjunctive syllogism. I'm sorry. We can use the rule two, that is, hypothetical syllogism on step two and step four. So, by using that, we have K C implies f c. This is step 2 and 4 along with rule 2, which is hypothetical syllogism. And then we use rule 6 to obtain for all x k x implies f x. Step 5 rule 6. Now, we move on to the next argument involving lions and dangerous animals. So, here in symbols we write let L x is a predicate x is a lion and d x is a predicate that x is a dangerous animal. Now, the statements that we have namely lions are dangerous animal, when we write by using predicates and universal quantifier, we can say this that for all x, L x implies d x and we can use existential quantifier saying th there exists L x that is there exist animals for which L x is true and in the consequence therefore, there exist x d x. Now, let us see whether this is a valid argument or not. Again we go on to formal proof. assertion reasons. Step 1, there exists x L x, this is premise 2. and we use rule 7 to write L a step 1 rule 7, 
step 3 we now use premise 1 that is for all x lx implies dx premise 1 and 4 I use rule 5 to write L a implies D a. Step 3 and rule 5, 5 d a step step 2 step 2 and 4 rule 1 rule 1 is modus ponens so i am combining step 2 and step 4 by using mode exponents and write this and then in 6 there exists dx x dx this is step 5 and rule 8 thus we have proved the validity of the argument that we have stated just now this is the end of today's lecture. Thank you.